This has the potential to fix the GPU shortages, but will it actually work? Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So GPU shortages have been going on for around six months now, and while there have been some signs pointing towards supply starting to slowly improve, right now unfortunately it's just basically nearly impossible to get your hands on an RTX 3080. However, this could be potentially changing in the near future here, as it looks like an ASIC miner that could be as powerful as 32 RTX 3080s was just revealed. And if this ASIC miner does end up coming in at the right price, this could actually drive a lot of these GPU Ethereum miners away from from your GeForce gaming GPUs and towards this ASIC, which of course could allow for more supply to go directly to gamers. Now this information comes from the website videocards.com and there will be links to all my sources in the description below as always. But you know, before we go ahead and talk about the specs of this upcoming machine and whether or not it will actually help things out, let's first talk about why this is so important. So in case you didn't know, an ASIC is actually known as an application specific integrated circuit. And you know, what these chips are designed for is they're essentially designed to do one task really well. Now, on the other hand, if you take a look at a GPU, uh, what these things do is they're just really good at doing a whole bunch of different math. So GPUs are just kind of general purpose devices. They're just good at a lot of different things. However, an ASIC is really, really good at doing just one type of workload. So of course, if you do end up making an ASIC for mining, it's going to be probably a lot more efficient than using a GPU. So this is why a lot of people who are mining Bitcoin now are only using ASICs and it just doesn't really make any sense whatsoever to use a GPU to mine Bitcoin as uh, the difficulty curve had gotten so high because everyone who was serious about mining Bitcoin was now using ASICs and you just simply didn't stand a chance. And so this is important because if this ASIC Ethereum miner does start to get really popular, it's probably going to drive a lot of these people away from your GeForce GPUs as it's simply going to be too difficult for them to mine on the GeForce gaming GPUs as they're going to be simply, you know, way too far behind these ASICs. And so a lot of people will likely start to turn to the ASICs. However, whether or not this is going to work how we really want it to and whether or not these gaming GPUs are going to end up in the hands of gamers is something we don't know for sure right now. However, this is definitely a good sign, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, first, let's go ahead and talk about what this ASIC really is and how powerful it is. And then, of course, I'll give you my thoughts on whether or not this will actually improve the situation. So according to videocards.com, uh, the Bitmain Antminer E9 Ethereum ASIC could be capable of getting up to three gigahashes per second, or at least that's what it's being advertised that and according to videocards.com quote compared to 32 RTX 3080 graphics cards which could consume around 7,500 watts the S9 is only requiring 2,556 watts so yeah this is definitely going to be a huge improvement over using 32 RTX 3080s to mine Ethereum that's just you know way less efficient than using this ASIC miner and you know I have mentioned the various reasons as to why this could definitely benefit gamers and I think there definitely is a potential for this ASIC machine to allow a lot of gamers gamers like you and I to actually get a better chance of getting our hands on graphics cards. I do want to talk about a few reasons as to why this may actually not completely solve everything. So uh, the first reason as to why I believe this may not completely solve everything is because there could be other coins that these Ethereum miners do end up setting their sights on. So one coin that I can think of just off the top of my head that people have mentioned in the past is Raven coin. So I believe that coin is also mineable uh, with GPUs. Now I'm not necessarily sure if it's going to be as profitable as using Ethereum. And if a lot of people suddenly move from Ethereum and go to Ravencoin, it could potentially drive up the difficulty curve so it could become even less profitable. But, you know, either way, I would guess that it's probably still going to be profitable for miners. So, you know, even though Ethereum could end up being potentially completely worthless to mine on a GPU in the future, if ASICs do end up becoming very popular, again, there are going to be other options for coins that are consistently going to continue to pop up. So, you know, it, we'll just have to wait and see what happens there. I'm not sure if it'll be profitable for them or not. But again, it probably will be. So of course, this could end up turning into a situation where, you know, short term, it does help. But in the long term, uh, they start mining other coins anyway, and continue to buy graphics cards. Now, the second reason as to why this may not completely solve everything is because, well, th there may just not be enough of these Ethereum mining ASIC machines because, you know, right now, there's just a general chip shortage going around. So uh, these people are going to be buying from places such as TSMC to create these ASICs. And if they can't get enough weight, 
wafers, well, then they're not going to be able to supply enough of these. And then people are going to turn to GPUs anyway, because they're going to be simply trying to get basically anything that they can whatsoever that can mine. And then finally, the third reason as to why this may not completely solve everything, although I do believe it may help, is that mining is not the only factor contributing to the current GPU shortage. So, you know, the way I look at things, uh, there's a quite a few different factors. And I think the most important factors that have led to the situation is that, you know, there's just overwhelming demand for graphics cards right now coming from basically all different sources. Uh, then you have a lot of manufacturers and companies such as NVIDIA, which unfortunately, uh, they just didn't get a good estimate on what demand was going to be like. So unfortunately, right now, the supply is not going to be able to meet demand. So there's just not enough supply and there's a huge amount of demand. And then, of course, on top of that, what's leading to even more demand is that unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of mining going on right now. And then all these various factors that are leading to this supply and demand issue are now creating scalpers. So there's a lot of people who are taking advantage of the fact that you simply can't get your hands on a GPU and maybe they have some sort of inside source. So they're going directly to, you know, someone who has their hands on a bunch of video cards and buying it maybe before it hits the retail or I, I'm not entirely sure how they're getting them, but they're getting them and they're reselling them on eBay for way more money than they should be worth. So when we take all these things into consideration, while this is definitely good news to hear that there is an ASIC that could potentially make GPU mining irrelevant, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to, you know, overnight suddenly fix everything. However, I do believe with ASICs becoming more and more popular, especially with them being way more efficient than GPU mining. And then you take into account the fact that I've just been seeing a whole lot more drops happening recently. It looks like supply is continuing to get stronger as the months go on. And then with more and more people becoming more confident to do things such as go on plane rides again or do whatever they like to do, such as going out to eat, uh, they're finding other ways to spend their money. So they may be spending a lot less time inside and a lot less money on PC gaming. Well, I think all these various different factors are going to lead to a much stronger supply and demand situation for gamers. And I think in the near future here, you are going to start to have a lot easier time getting your hands on a GeForce GPU or even an AMD RX 6000 series GPU. So yeah, I'm starting to get pretty optimistic about this whole GPU shortage situation. And I think in the near future, we are going to see this thing start to resolve itself. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that these ASIC machines are going to actually help PC gamers? Or do you think that it's not really going to make any difference whatsoever? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.